Wouldn't it be helpful if there was a way of checking your progress on TU100 as you study? A way of having instant feedback in your understanding of concepts, facts and skills? Well, yes it would, and there is, using ICMAs. This short video will help to explain what ICMAs are, how to access them and how to complete them. Let's look at accessing ICMAs and how you complete them. From the TU100 website, scroll down and click on Assessment Resources. From there, click on this link. This page explains what ICMAs are and how they form part of your assessment. I'm going to have a look at ICMA 52. Your view of this page may look slightly different from my view as I'm viewing this as a tutor rather than as a student. Click on the link and then you must confirm that no plagiarism is going on. Here's question one. I'm going to deliberately choose the wrong answer here. Each question is multiple choice. You need to click the answer that you think is most appropriate. Sometimes you may be asked to choose more than one answer. I'm going to choose this one. Click on check and it gives you instant feedback saying in this case your answer is incorrect. And then we get a big clue to help us work out what the right answer is. And I get a chance to try again. So I'm going to have another go. Click on check. It tells me I'm wrong. It gives me the clue again. And let's have a third try. Let's see what happens here. I get it wrong again. It goes red and then gives me the correct answer. If I'm not getting the right answer straight away, that is an indication that I haven't quite understood the skill or concept needed by the question, and that I might need to revisit the section of the module that covers the material concerned. You can work your way through the questions, and you don't need to do them in any order. If I want to go back to a question, I can't attempt the one I got wrong three times and I can't attempt the ones I got right but I can attempt any question I haven't attempted more than twice before. I also don't have to answer all the questions in one go. If I've had enough or run out of available time I can just click on finish attempt and I get a summary of how well I did. I can see the ones that I got right and the ones I got wrong and at any point I can come back to this ICMA and carry on with the assessment. In summary, here are some key points about the purpose of ICMAs and the part they play in the assessment process on TU100. ICMAs evaluate your understanding of the module materials. ICMAs 51 to 56 are formative. In other words, they don't contribute to your overall module score, but rather give you feedback to inform your progress. You are allowed an unlimited number of attempts for ICMAs 51 to 56. ICMA 57 is summative. It measures your mastery of T100 at the end of the module and contributes a maximum of 4% to your overall course assessment score. Only one attempt of ICMA 57 is allowed. You can use ICMAs 51 to 56 as diagnostics and attempting these will give you rehearsals for ICMA 57. If you fail to pass the ICMAs, you will not fail the module. 